While they may not seem like the most exciting thing to talk about, having the right tripod can last you throughout your filmmaking career. To this day, I use this Manfrotto tripod with the 502AH fluid head. While it's not the cheapest tripod on the market, it has lasted me the four years of abuse I have put it through. It has a nice smooth fluid head with tension controls to smooth out the camera's pans and tilts. And the legs offer both versatility and easy adjustments, which is something I've grown to appreciate working in fast paced environments. But I'm not here to talk about the Manfrotto tripod, no sir, I'm here to answer the question if this budget tripod from Newer could replace my $400 setup. Introducing the Newer Professional Heavy Duty Video Tripod. This tripod can get pretty tall, it has a maximum height of 78 inches, so for comparison I'm about 6 foot 1, so this tripod can get pretty tall. Unlike my Manfrotto, this tripod features a bowl head. This allows for quick leveling of the camera independently of adjusting the legs. I do wish, however, this tripod could get a little bit lower to the ground because at its lowest setting is typically the height I would start with if let's say I'm interviewing someone sitting down. The downside to having a spreader instead of a center column is that if I want to raise the camera's height, I need to do so by the legs. Whereas on the Manfrotto, I can just raise the center column. Oftentimes, I find myself adjusting the camera's height more frequently than I would do, let's say, leveling the camera. So in this case, I do prefer the Manfrotto. Now, you will want a bowl head if you plan to use a really heavy camera with a built-out rig on top of this, as it is a little bit easier just to balance the camera that way than try to mess with the legs. But I've just grown accustomed to adjusting a leg or two to level a camera with my Manfrotto. The overall construction, I'll say, is satisfactory. It is metal, it will hold up your camera and quite a bit of weight at that. However, there are a couple of things I don't like particularly about this tripod, such as there is no tension control. So when you get this tripod out of the box, you're stuck with that one level of tension. With the tilt mechanism, I don't think this is too big of an issue as it does have some level of resistance. It really comes down to the pan mechanism, which feels pretty loose and there's not a whole lot of tension to be had. So I'd say if you're planning to use panning on this tripod, I would say it's out of the question with this video head. It's just much too loose if you want to get very slow, smooth movements. But then again, 95% of the time I use a tripod is just for a locked off shot. Rarely am I doing a pan or a tilt. I simply need the tripod to hold the camera, let me position it and lock it down. And if that's all you need, this tripod works great. At the end of the day, you get what you pay for. If you need anything more from this tripod, you'll have to spend more. This will most likely be my backup tripod. Anytime where I need a second camera angle, or if I just want to take this out on location, don't feel like bringing my Manfrotto, this will do the trick. It's great for YouTubers, great for commercial interviews, where you just need a simple locked off camera. If you are interested in picking up this newer tripod or the Manfrotto, I'll leave links in the description down below for you to check out. Other than that, that's going to wrap up this video. Peace out.